Are you trying to figure out how to get things done? Are you trying to look for knowledge that can actually help you do something, be something, be better at what you do? Hi, I'm Joyce Mbaya, founder of ZD, where we provide affordable online courses for Africa. This is the place for you, the ZD podcast, where we have inspiring conversations with amazing people. And the ultimate goal is to help you know more so you can do more. Hi, this is Rhonda Kingori. And I'm really excited about today's podcast, which is still me, Uh, but it's based on a really funny story. Um, So it was inspired by a phrase an instructor said during a shoot. And it's, it's very African, it's very Kenyan of, it sounds even better in mother tongue, but it's, uh, you can't eat a goat whole. And that really resonated with me. Um. Because I feel like one thing that really incapacitates people, like it it makes you not move at all, is because you look at a problem as a whole, right? Or rather, you want to achieve something, but you're looking at how gigantic this thing is and you start thinking about all the ways that there's no way you can do all of that or achieve this, which is basically the good, right? So when you look at a goat, there's no way you can eat a goat whole. Apologies to all the vegans and vegetarians, but you get what I mean. Um, so, and that's something that we as human beings really suffer from. I mean, I personally do that whole element of just not starting something because it's become a huge thing that I just, I cannot, I cannot begin to unpack, which is, uh, why? I am doing this podcast today, which is, um, it's something that I'm also working on. So <laughs> I, I am not the expert, but just sharing my thoughts. And one is applying the, not element, but you know what I mean? Beginning to break things down into smaller pieces and starting with the littlest, tiniest thing that you can do. Because that small little step leads you to another, which leads you to another, which leads you to another. And I think the biggest barrier is usually starting. And the barrier to starting is because you're looking at how big your goat is and not how if you were to start cooking the goat, you know, you'd start, you would, you'd start with like the leg and then maybe tomorrow you'd do this, um, and <laughs> basically just by the end of it, you'd be able to consume the good, but you can't do it whole. And that's life, right? Nobody ever woke up and just achieved what they needed to do in a snap of a finger. And anything worthwhile, and it is how the world is built, is not easily attained. You have to actually take the steps to build up your muscle towards the bigger goal. Um, so say, for example, uh, you want to start working out. I think people get stuck at starting because you're just imagining how much work it's going to be. But if you took 10 minutes, just a 10 minute or even a five minute, start with a five minute workout, 10 minute workout. You don't have to do it every day. Maybe do it three days a week. Heck, even start with one day a week <laughs> and then keep going as you build up. It becomes a lifestyle. And you start being fit and healthy because you didn't automatically start with every single day, two hours in the gym, full on intense gym work, right? Um, So same with life of you want to start a business. Uh, You know what your business is, but step one is, have you done, say, your business model canvas? Have you sat down? by yourself or with somebody you trust and gone through, this is what my value proposition would be, right? This is what, um, how I would make money. This is where the money would come from. These are the customers that I'm targeting. This is where I would be spending money, you know, and it sounds a bit more complicated as I said, but it's very, very simple. Um, Google business model canvas of first sketch out the idea in your head, small bits by bit by bit and then after you've done that first step it makes it easier for you to move to the next stage 
right? Which is maybe registering your business or doing a prototype and then testing customer validation and moving on to the next step. Um, so as I ramble on, this is just inspired by that whole thing for the good. It really resonated deeply with me because there are things that I feel I need to be doing um, for myself, um, for ZD, that when you really think about it, the bigger picture, it's so it's so massive and you wonder where to start. And I challenged myself and actually started journaling and I wrote down the little micro things that I'm going to do for each of the things that I want to achieve in my personal life, my spiritual life, in my career, my relationships. One little micro thing that I will do this month because I know once I do that one micro thing, it will lead me to do another, which will lead me to do another. And you look back and be surprised at what you've been able to achieve. You'll find you've, you've eaten, you've consumed your goat and you can move on to another goat <laughs> because you didn't try and eat it whole. And that's how life is, right? You can't, you can't run before you walk. You can't walk before you crawl. Um, so I think that's it. It's not really a long podcast, so let's keep it short and sweet, but just keep that in mind. You, you cannot eat your goat whole, but you can start with like, you know, a leg, a rib, and move your way on up from there. <laughs> this week's episode has come to an end, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like and share, comment, get involved. Let us know what you think, what you want to learn next and join us next time.